We meet again, Mr. Cylinder Head. This is the 2.5 liter single overhead cam out of Ford Ranger, uh, 97 year model. Sorry, it's hot as shit in here. What we got here is our dial indicator. Got us hooked up here onto the cast iron head, so we're using the magnetic one. So that way we don't have no uh, excess of wiggling or movement at all to throw off our numbers. And uh, I've never done this check here on a, on a camera before, so that way, if you guys have never done it before, you can actually check it. And you're, what we're doing here is we're checking the thrust back and forth on the cam. And what we're doing is I've moved it all the way forward. I used the hammer very slightly, tapped on it. My mallet's not here, so I should have used the mallet, but I didn't have it. So use just a hammer. Very lightly tapped it all the way forward and watched the gauge move. And what it did is it moved up a couple lines, a couple thousandths of an inch. So then I've reset it back to zero. So let's verify here that we're at zero. So we can zoom in here. And now that once we get it set to zero, when we thrust it backwards, we will be able to see in thousands of how far it's going to move. So what I'm doing is I'm using a screwdriver, which isn't the greatest tool for this, but it's what I got right now, and I just don't feel like getting up and lazy. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to pry towards us on the cam up against that tower and we're going to watch the movement on this gauge here. So we got us about, and we're not forcing anything like that, we're just giving a little, just a little pressure just to move it. And we've got about three and a half thousandths thrust. So like I said what we did the first time is we just very slightly tap this thing forward very lightly. I mean, do not hammer the shit out of it. You will damage it. So, very lightly push it back forward. Just about at zero again. And one more time, we're going to go check this thrust. And let's focus in here. Let's see, focus in, damn it. Let's go. All right, here we go. So, again, we're just going to put a screwdriver in there. Pry very lightly up against it. I'm probably using enough force to like open a bottle of soda. And not very much. Just about three thousandths of an inch. Which I'll refer to the book and check and see what our spec is. Hopefully we're within spec, but um yeah, that's what you're gonna be doing to be checking your thrust. Usually it'll be something like this plate right here will be worn out or something where the cam itself will have a little bit of wear on it. So just uh, refer to your specs and then from there you'll know what you need to do.